Hello everybody again and uh, welcome to another uh, tool uh, tutorial making <coughs> video and uh, this time I will uh, actually show how you can make a tool to unscrew the depth of fill lever. Um, this is just an example. Uh, you could uh, make a, a pick nose, uh, it's the name, <laughs> yeah, as a see uh, to make a pick nose uh, tool for whatever lever they have or big or small so this is just an example how it could be done well you could use in this case I use a uh, four millimeter driver bit and uh, it fits really good because there is actually uh, between the two holes here uh, there is actually, yeah, around four millimeter. Um, and the only thing I need to do is actually use my Dremel tool to have a shape like, uh, let's see, it will be almost like maybe a little more difficult to draw so it I simply cut out so it looked like a, a fork uh, a tiny one and you only need to have around a millimeter uh, the two legs one on each side they only need to have a uh, to be around yeah maybe one millimeter one one and a half millimeter long but the width of the there between the two legs I found out it should be something like 2.9 millimeter so if we look here it would be something like that so there is not much uh, only half a millimeter on each leg so but it it's enough I make uh, another one but it it, it it went a little wrong <laughs> So, uh, but uh, this one will be much better. So let's head off to my Dremel and uh, see what we can do about it. Okay, let's see how good it will go. So. So. Let's see if we can go over here. Yeah, it actually works uh, as a shoot. So <laughs> that was quite easy. Okay, uh, I just uh, forgot to mention the uh, grinding stone, which is uh, from the name Proxon and uh, which is really good quality and they have the the silicium uh, uh, grinding disc in a package of 10 and um, it's actually three millimeter uh, width and it's it's really good because it's um, actually the the distance between the two holes here as we can see here and it fit very good um, I just uh, I mean at first <laughs> I cut away too much it's easy and then use a diamond file to actually fit the shape so it, it would uh, fit perfect in the pig nose screw head and that works and um, the reason I use those tiny <coughs> over the normal one is simply just the the driver handle here is thinner <coughs> more slim so it uh, actually is much easier to put the screw in 
and uh, then screw it in instead of using a um, a lens tool in my opinion so and there gently tighten it and there here we are now it works again <clears throat> this is just an example I mean it's just to find the the right size of the driver bit itself and in that way um, it could be this size or even bigger um, but you just have to file and grind them into <clears throat> the shape you actually want and uh, that's it so that's all for me hope you can <laughs> use the info this is just the grinding stones. So that's all for me. Bye bye.